Hello everybody, my name is... And this is my YouTube channel. Alright guys, so today uh, I'm gonna make it a little different. Instead of doing um, live commentary, I'm gonna speak after I make the video. So anyways, it's gonna be a weird video. I I've never done one of these, so I hope this goes well. Alright, so I know I haven't been making videos in a little bit. It's been maybe two weeks. I'm sorry, guys. Schoolwork has really been trying to kick my ass. I don't know what it is, but there's been a lot of tests. High school is going pretty well for me, uh, but I just can't keep up with YouTube. I'm trying the best I can. I'm sorry that this video is lagging. My internet wasn't good when I was making it, so the lag, I'm, I'm really sorry, guys. Um... I'll try to fix it next time, but if it's really bothering you, I don't know what to say. Uh, so anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video, but this video is going to be about my life. I'm going to tell you guys a little story about my life, about when I was younger, a uh, time that I went through. Some of you might not believe it, but that's fine. Um, Alright guys, so this is how I'm going to st uh, start off this video. Alright, so when I was maybe six seven a uh, little younger maybe I'm not even sure I don't really remember it too well but when I was a little kid oh man I was a troublemaker I'm not saying that this story is about me getting in trouble this story is about like me putting myself in trouble alright so I loved jumping I was an athletic little kid I loved being outside and everything but we were inside um, it's when my aunt and my mom were living together and we had a trailer together and I was little had no clue what I was doing um, I don't know where my mom I think my mom was working and my aunt was watching me my aunt went to go make me lunch or something forget what she was doing maybe going outside to walk the dogs or something like that and I had no clue what I was doing but we had like a couch set up and then in front of it was like a coffee table you know like most living rooms have a coffee table and a couch alright so this coffee table had a whole bunch of stuff on it I'm not even sure what was on it but all I remember is sticking up a screwdriver standing it up straight up so that like the point that you use the tool part not like the handle but it was standing on the handle somehow and you know I was like oh that was pretty cool and then I go ahead, turn around, start jumping on the couch. Yeah, um, I'm going to give you guys a heads up. If you guys don't love blood and gore, then <laughs> you might want to skip a little forward into the video. Because this is going to be nasty. Um, Alright, so what happened was I was jumping, I was jumping, I was jumping. I did something. I'm not even sure if it was a front flip, but I considered it to be a front flip. I attempted to do a front flip. Okay, let's put it that way. And as I did it, I went forward, and yeah, um, the screwdriver went straight into the back of my head. Um, I got rushed to the hospital, maybe five minutes, uh, not even five minutes, maybe a minute after it happened. Um, my mom had to come from her work to come pick us up, because we couldn't call an ambulance because there wasn't service where we lived at the time. So, we they drove us. Like, I was pouring blood. I had a white rag on my head. And this is all I remember before I blacked back out. Um, I had a white rag on my head, and I looked at it, laughed, and passed out. That's all I remember from it. I still have the scar now. It's on the back of my head still, so that's why I don't get, like, really short haircuts. Um, but it's a pretty big scar. I had to get 75 stitches inside my head and 75 stitches out. And, yeah, that's pretty much that story um but oh yeah I when I was little I used to love getting short hair always got a buzz cut to match my stepdad um and then or no I was trying to match John Cena he was my idol back then and I always got a haircut just like him I used to bring in um Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 always brought that game in to the haircut place the supercuts and point at John Cena and say I want a haircut just like him always got the haircut every single time um, I 
I think I stopped doing that when I was maybe 10. Oh yeah, I went from maybe 5 to 10. So 5 years of that haircut. It was, I liked it. It was nice. It was thin, nice cut. But enough of that. I don't want to talk about my hair. Um, but kids used to look at me strange because I had this huge bald spot. And they would ask like what it was and I couldn't remember. I didn't, I forgot all about it. I had no clue how it happened. I just remember my mom telling me about it and then I started getting memories of it. So yeah, it was kind of, it was a weird experience. Um, I still gross people out like teachers, new teachers about it, new friends about it. I gross them out a lot about it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the video. Um, I know I've been only talking for five minutes, but it's a nice short video to catch up, guys. And also, now that I'm done talking about my story, I'd like to talk a little about what's going on in the future. Alright, guys. So, the future. Um, I'm going to be mainly... I want to do something Syndicate did. I'm not trying to copy him, but it was a good idea. Um, it's called um, Would You Rather Fridays. Alright guys, so I want you guys in the comment section below, uh, please put like a would you rather question, and I'll answer it on Friday, every Friday, of which one I would rather do. Now looking at this video, it's pretty laggy, I'm sorry about that guys, but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and if you do, then be sure to infect that like button, also bite down hard and subscribe. I love you guys so much, don't know where I would be without you, so without further ado, Peace out, my zombies. See you guys all in the next video. Good bye!